Hello. If you want to sue for defamation, to sue somebody for defamation or some organization for defamation, some representative of that organization for defamation, what do you have to prove? Because it's not enough, as we discussed before, to come to a judge and say, like, I'm really offended, they should be punished. Uh, it's very emotional and stressful for me. Uh, it's not enough. You have to prove your claim because in our legal system, in civil litigation, the one bringing the claim should bring the proof. So what is the proof? What's the evidence? Uh, first of all, you have to show, and that's first of all, that there was real damage. Not that somebody lied about you publicly and that somebody is a bad person or a uh, known liar or whatever, not that much important. First of all, that you really suffered, that there is damage, that there is some injury, and now you claim compensation for it. Uh, when I say compensation, it's not necessarily money, it might be an apology or just withdrawal of some uh, publication or whatever, but first of all, that there is some actual damage. No damage, no claim. Uh, damage might be direct, uh, might be future, might be some economic loss, uh, which not tangible yet, but which might, like some profit might come and didn't come directly because of that. But uh, maybe there is a loss in salary because there is no promotion or because there is a demotion or because you had to uh, take some days off. Uh, or you had to pay for some medication, or you had to spend some time in some resort uh, just in order to just restore your own uh, self-confidence or uh, hide yourself from the public for quite some time, whatever. If you want to go with a claim, you have to collect documents, those invoices, uh, maybe you have to visit an accountant, and ask to make an expert report, or at least some kind of report. Uh, you should collect your receipts for a medication. Uh, you should probably visit your doctor and ask if that doctor ever, if you visited before, of course, uh, if uh, that doctor put down your complaints about your nausea or vertigo or you know, what kind of pain and, and, and maybe depression or whatever. And if it's documented, well, it's good for you. But if it's not, it's harder to prove. If you felt threatened, for example, then it might be a good idea to remember if you filed a claim uh, and now you can find something in a police report. And uh, if you can, well, even if uh, the police didn't find much then, but the report was there, then it's sort of a proof that you took it seriously. Well, while when now you say that you felt threatened and then the other party would show that you easily mm, went around and for groceries and visited neighbors and whatever, that would be harder. Maybe you sincerely felt threatened, but you didn't collect proof. So proof is important. Uh, the other kind of proof should be to show that whatever the damage, whatever the loss, the proof of which you could collect, that this damage was actually caused uh, by that information, but those bad words spread. Not by some other words, some other information, not by your own behavior, not by some other people actions against you, uh, not by some uh, like natural situation like COVID or whatever. Uh, not by some economic situation where your loss would, ha would have happened anyways, uh, but because of that, you know. And, uh, for example, if you're already taking uh, pills against depression well before that, it would be harder to show that the, your depression was caused by this particular spread of information. Still might be possible to show that aggravation was caused because of that, but then you will have to prove that aggravation. Uh, 
then, and it's also important, uh, to show that whatever the spread of bad word which really caused your loss, your damage, uh, that was done by some kind of fault, either by intention or by negligence. Because if the person would show that that person did whatever like humanly possible, or at least whatever reasonably possible to verify the information, to limit its spread only to the extent necessary for some legitimate cause, uh, then it would be harder to show that that person was at fault. Uh, but again, if that person sincerely believed that something was true, but didn't do anything to verify, uh, that would be negligence. Not exactly like malicious intent, but negligence. And that might be a fault, or it might be shown as a fault. Uh, probably you already know, but just in case, uh, the proof, the evidence made in a civil litigation is different from the criminal one. In a criminal case, as you might remember from many movies or media publications, the proof is made or should be made beyond a reasonable doubt, meaning that uh, a judge or a jury should believe that like much more than otherwise. But in a civil litigation, uh, the standard is lower. It's so-called balance of probabilities, meaning that the judge would, should rather believe than not your evidence. Uh, and that also that's also applicable uh, to the other party's uh, evidence and to other party's defense. So if the judge is not necessarily convinced, but rather more convinced than not, that might be enough. Uh, because as opposed to criminal accusation, uh, the civil litigation, at least that's how it's meant, uh, does not mm, give anybody a stigma of a criminal, but just, okay, well, you fought in court, you lost your case, or you continue to live as a good citizen from that point over. Uh, true that in the case of defamation, if uh, you lost your case on defamation, some people might see it as the other party proved that you were actually a bad person in this situation, but in reality, no. It's just, uh, it means only that the judge believed the other party more than he believed you, though some of, the, of your arguments might still be rather good. But, well, it's not perfect, but that's the system. Uh, balance of probabilities is rather yes than no, rather, not beyond reasonable doubt. Uh, so, if you proceed this way, you will have to bring all the evidence you can to show that that person knew or should have known what that person is doing. That that person did not do some diligent search. Uh, that that person, sometimes that happens, maybe did not even have an, any, any intention to spread the information and uh, send this email or letter to a wrong address by an honest mistake, still it might be seen as negligence uh, or as recklessness or ignorance, um, and that would be fault. But again, whatever, whatever it is, you have to prove that. You have to prove that the person was seeing it as a possibility to do you some damage, or at least that the person didn't think well enough about what he or she was doing. Uh, as we discussed many times, it's not enough for that person to believe truly. But that person might show that in the circumstances, before spreading some information, some reasonably diligent precautions were taken, like some research was done, information was verified uh, through the sources that were reasonably available. And again, it's not necessary that that person did everything possible, because, well, 
will end up in some scientific proof, uh, which is not always even available. Uh, but that person should show that he or she did what was reasonably possible for, again, a reasonable person in the circumstances um, as balanced against the gravity of the accusation or of the allegation made in those defamatory statements. So one thing is to say that you spread some, uh, or not you, maybe somebody else, uh, spread some unpleasant smell around. Another thing is to accuse somebody of being a murderer, for example. One thing is to um, say that in a like, small group of people. Another thing is to say that on the air, on some, like, I don't know, major TV broadcast or something like that. Uh, so was it uh, negligent? Was it intentional? Uh, so w was there a fault? Did it really cause and what exactly did it cause as damage? Those are the questions that you should not only just bring your guesses before a judge or bring your just true belief or conviction before a judge. You have to bring evidence, meaning documents, witnesses, affidavits, reports, uh, receipts, invoices, pictures, recordings, whatever you can find, to show that the event actually, the situation like, happened, happened because of fault and negligence, and really directly caused this damage, and that's how the damage is measurable. If you prepare all that, if you bring all that, okay, you're ready to start your litigation in defamation. Thank you and see you another time.